Hey everybody, I'm here in my garage workshop at my paint booth and I'm going to be doing some weathering today. I'll be weathering my O-Scale MTH Seaboard Coastline GP38. Now originally I wasn't going to film this, I was just going to weather the model and leave it be, but then I decided well I'll go ahead and film it and let you guys follow along in the process. But because of that it's going to be kind of a quick and dirty video without me explaining a lot. Now I will do a video in the future where I'll be weathering a box car and you'll be able to learn all the processes and steps involved. But today's video is just going to be pretty quick, not a lot of talking, just me using the airbrush and using some chalk powders and so forth. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Now the paints that I use for my airbrush weathering are made by Scale Coat, Scale Coat 2. These used to be made by Weaver, now they're made by Minuteman Scale Models. So we're going to weather the model with my airbrush in the paint booth. And then after that, we'll hit it with some chalk powders just to finish it up. And in the end, hopefully, it'll look pretty nice. Now, I built this paint booth about a year or two ago, and I actually did a two-part video showing the construction and the installation of the paint booth. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put links to them in this video. Now, before I start, I do want to say that I would never claim to be an expert in airbrush weathering or weathering in general. I'm still learning. I just do what I know how to do, and I'm always improving my process. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Maybe you'll learn something, maybe you won't. Maybe you can cherry pick an idea or two. Or maybe you'll just say this guy's full of it and he doesn't know what he's talking about. But either way, let's get going. I've already prepped it by taping over the windows and removing the truck side frames and taping up the trucks. And so I've got it here in my paint booth and I'm gonna go ahead and weather it with my airbrush. Before I paint, I like to mix up my paints with this little stirring thing. This is my airbrush. It's an Iwata HPCS. Now, even though I do have a hood that's sucking out most of the paint, because these are solvent based paints, I still like to wear a respirator. disgusting, but just to give it a nice coat of dirt and grime uh, so that it looks used, but doesn't look neglected.
it's all nice and clean. So I'm just going to let these things dry and then we'll reassemble everything and have a look. There's something nostalgic. I just love the smell after I've been weathering. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like this painty smell. Frisco. Frisco. Oh. Frisco. Oh, little Frisco. Frisco. What's your name? Frisco. Some people, when they weather their trains and their engines and so forth, they don't take off the truck side frames. They just weather everything and then clean off the wheels as needed. But I like to cover up the wheels and the gears and so forth and weather the side frames separately and then reassemble it. That's just how I do it. some dirt on the walkways where people have been walking back and forth from the cab. And this is just making some of that white paint from the SCL and so forth kind of fade down the side.
All right, there she is, all done and ready for action. So we'll go ahead and start this thing up in a minute and take it for a quick spin around the layout. Overall, I think it looks pretty good, although I'm not 100% happy with it. But then again, I don't think I've ever been 100% happy with any weathering job I've done just because I'm sort of a perfectionist about it. There are a couple flaws here and there that I've noticed, although most people wouldn't notice those flaws. And so overall, it's okay, and I'm going to leave it as is. But I always try to do better the next time around. Now, as I said, this was a spur of the moment video, and so I really didn't go into a lot of depth in terms of explaining what I was doing along the way. Uh, I will be doing a video in the future where I will be explaining each step, and that should be a kind of fun video. I've already filmed part of it, but it's not ready yet, but that'll be out at some point in the future. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride, and I'll see you next time. All right, here we go. And by the way, every car in this train has been weathered.
Hey everybody, so I'm in my garage workshop by my paint booth, and um, uh, I'm going to be weathering something, but I, I forgot what it was. 